Well, hello and uh, welcome to the VK6CS Amateur Radio Channel. Further to the previous video, I thought I'd just show you the bandwidth of the tune on the loop. Now the difference here is that um, the loop is actually tuned with the capacitor uh, that forms part of the loop, so it's actually a single turn high Q tuned circuit, so it is tuned to a resonance. Um, whereas the uh, the other HF antenna is basically just a uh, a, a random length loop um, that uh, is you know, 100 feet or so long, pre presents a peculiar impedance. Um, I normally match that impedance to 50 ohms at the antenna feed point and run it then from the automatic ATU um, uh, on a 50 ohm coax all the way back into the uh, into the house and to the radio. Um, now uh, with the loop, the loop has to be a tuned circuit. So the capacitor that tunes the loop forms part of the loop, so it's actually got to be tuned where the, wherever the loop sits. And it then runs um, via the loop matching arrangement, which is uh, in this particular case it's a toroidal transformer. I showed you that uh, a couple of videos ago. Um, it's actually a little bit different to that. I found that when I put the put the loop in free space, I actually needed a few more turns on it. So um, I'll show you it working anyway, but uh, for now I'll just show you the bandwidth of the tune and um, uh, compare this to the, uh, the the bandwidth of the match that, that I got with the um, the non-resonant loop and the uh, the tuner, the ATU. As you can see, that's uh, SWR is one impedance is 50 ohms, and um, I've got the sweep width, which is the SW. Down on the bottom left there, it's set to 500 kilohertz, exactly the same as it was on the previous um, on the previous video when I showed you the bandwidth of the tune on 7093. So what I'll do is because this is so narrow, and you can see, uh, I don't know in this light whether you'll be able to see my my pencil. Will you be able to see my pencil? Oh, possibly, yeah. Um, you can see how narrow this is uh, compared to the Compared to the previous one, where we had the you know the the um, uh, SWR coming down and then going out like that, at a reasonably or much shallower angle, and um, the impedance was either up like that or down like that. That's reasonably flat across the uh, across 50 ohms, or it was flat 50 ohms across a a, re a reasonable uh, bandwidth. Whereas this, as you can see, that's uh, that is very very tight very tight tuning so what I'll do is I'll change this 500 kilohertz here um, to uh, something so the sweep width that's 500 kilohertz from there to there I'll change it to something uh, much smaller something so we can actually see what's going on so I'll press that go down to that Oh, I'll press that again. I did say it's getting late, didn't I? <laughs> ah. What's happened there? Ah, oh, I've changed the frequency, that's what's happened there. Wakey, wakey, good heavens. So, oh, no, that's how tight it is. 093, there we go. Now I'm going to go back to 1 and 50, one and 50 ohms. So, what what happened there was uh, I changed the wrong parameter. I changed the the CF, which is the center frequency, and not the SW, which is the sweep width. So now you can see that the arrowhead's on the sweep width. So I'll change that to uh, no, not one meg or two megs. Let's go the other way. 200k, 100k, 50k. <laughs> 20k. All right, let's let's leave it at 50k. So that's a tenth. So the sweep width is a tenth of what we had before. It's uh, it's now only 50 50 kilohertz from there uh, to there. So uh, if I now go and change the frequency, uh, we'll see something I think happening fairly uh, fairly quickly with the SWR. So. There we go, sorry about that, nudging the tripod. So move move the frequency in one kilohertz steps. Okay, still okay. 
Oh, you can see the impedance changing a bit there. Yeah, the impedance is dropping off quite rapidly. And that's only, what, 3 kilohertz away? Five kilohertz away, thirty five ohms, one point five, one point seven, uh, thirty four ohms. See, a solid state PA is not going to like this low, low impedance very much. And there's two. So if we go back to our one point five, um, our SWR is one point five to one. But uh, look at the uh, look at the impedance, 35 ohms. Now on the uh, on the big loop, tuned by the ATU, uh, when we got to 1.5, um, the impedance was still uh, sorry, it was 1.5, and the impedance was still 50 ohms, 60 kilohertz away from the um, uh, away from the uh, frequency that we started with, so. From 7093, we managed to get 67 kilohertz before we'd have to retune it. But with this, we can't even get. How far can we get? I mean, 7093, 1 to 1, there's 1 and 50 ohms. So you go 1 kilohertz. It's changing already, that's okay. 2 kilohertz. <laughs> I might get away with that. 3. And although the SWR is still pretty low, look at the impedance dropping off there, 39 ohms. That's 4 kilohertz, 1.4 and 36. And that's 5. So that's just 5 kilohertz. And it's starting to look pretty unhappy. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's 10 kilohertz away from where we started. And we've got a SWR of 2.4 to 1, impedance of 35 ohms. So you can see that these loops, very, very critical tuning. Once it's tuned, if you're going to change frequency, you're going to have to retune the loop. Um, you, know, you might be okay, plus or minus 2 kilohertz, but much beyond that, and it starts to get wobbly. So if we go down in frequency this time, so we go down, there you go, that's down 3 kilohertz, look at the impedance, 69 ohms, 68 ohms, 1.4, 1.5 to 1, 60, 70 ohms, 69, 70 ohms. Solid state PAs don't really like uh, um, anything other than 50 ohms being put on them, you know, plus or minus a couple of ohms or so maybe, but um, generally speaking, if you go from 50 to 70, they're not going to like that very much. And there you go. So what's that? Uh, four or five kilohertz. So it's getting late. <laughs> it's, my, it's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Seventy-eight ohms, one point six. And if we go to eight three, it's ten kilohertz away. Two point six, one hundred and thirty-two ohms. Look at that. So. Go to eight, there you go. That's five kilohertz away, eighty-three ohms and one point seven to one SWR. So you know the tuning on the magnetic loop is just very, very tight. Go back to about seven oh nine three where we started. There we go. You can see it's happy again. And uh, as I say, if I put that on the um, put that on the same sweep width that I had the previous um, the previous uh, um, video that I had on the previous video, what is the time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about it's about quarter to twelve midnight. So. Uh, so there we go, uh, that's 50k, naught, 50 megs, 5 megs, back to, fit, back to 500k. So if I put the sweep width back to where it was, 
um, you can see that uh, you can see how tight that is compared with the um, uh, with the other antenna, or you know, with the other antenna matched through the um, through the ATU. All right. Well, I hope you found that interesting, and uh, and or informative, or both. And um, as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.